Hello, folks. I probably should have tested this on mine to find it out uh, before I figure out how to do this on this one here. I had a little latency issues, and I'm trying to work it out a little bit. But we're going to run it up here and see what we got. Today, I'm going to be working with World of War Tanks again. And I'm thinking about going in as maybe some of the smaller stuff or really kind of going through um, some of the important things about tanks and why you're playing it. Um, I've had a few people talk to me about little frustrations that they've had when they first play the game that, you know, they're not able to kill anybody or, you know, they're not able to do certain things. Um, and I totally understand. Um, when you first get into the game, it, most people think it's like a first person shooter. And it is, for the most part. Um, but the other big thing about this is this is really a strategic game. Um, so, I mean, there's strategies for everything. And there's even down to strategies as far as um, actually shooting the tanks. And I want to expand on that a little bit more by saying, if you were in a fight, a firefight with somebody, and you shot them in the leg, they wouldn't be dead, but they'd have a hole in their leg. Okay, so that's kind of what I want to explain about tanks. When you shoot a tank in the leg, or like in the track, you're going to do some damage to them, but what you're going to do is you're going to bust their track to where they're going to do, not going to be able to move. Okay, and that's a key part of playing this game, is getting your opponent into a position. Now this, we're just going to say this like any other tank. Okay, so the one thing you don't want to do with most tanks is you don't want to hit them up front. This is where all their plating is. This is where they have sloping. So as you can see up here, parts of these gear, they're sloped. What that is, is that if you hit this tank in these parts, the round will actually bounce off and ricochet up into the air. Okay? And you're going to find other tanks that are kind of sloped out even more than that. And then you're going to find some tanks that are just really, really bulky. Um, let's go into this one here. Now, as you can tell, the front end's a little sloped on the front up here. And what most people do is they see a tank, and it's pointing at you. You're pointing at them. And the first thing you do is you just look at them and go, okay, I'm going to fire. But you're not really looking at where you're firing. Where you want to fire on a lot of tanks, that if you can hit this plate or hit anywhere on the, the actual gun itself or up in this plate area, okay, or if you can hit in this joint area, what you're doing is you're going to damage the gun, okay, or the turret, which makes it harder for them to turn their turret, or maybe they can't even fire their gun. Nine times out of ten, if you hit the turret or the gun, you can actually kill the actual uh, gunner that's on the inside. Therefore, it turns slower. Um, your uh, your ability to actually zone in on guys takes longer. And when I go in the game, I'll explain that, that you have a target. It's a reticle. And as the reticle shrinks on its target, it's telling you you're getting closer and closer on really dialing into the part that you want. If it's wide open like this, okay, when, you, when you're driving, you're going to notice it's going to wobble like this. That means anywhere you shoot, it could be anywhere within that circle. If you stop your tank and let it zone in to where it closes in onto where your tank is that you're, you're uh, zooming in on, then boom, you're going to have more precision hits. So again, hitting in the bottom end of the turret okay, will do a lot of damage. Um, for a lot of guns, um, let's see if I can find a tank here that... Let's take this little guy right here. That's his gun. Hitting right up in this area, it's not that well protected. He's got a little extra metal, but not a lot. Unlike... Looking at tanks like this. Now it's rounded. So when a shell can hit it, it has an opportunity to deflect. Okay? That's why they have those. When you're looking at this, it's kind of, it comes up to a point and then it comes up. So if somebody shoots this, it has the opportunity to deflect and go up. Does less damage to your tank. But then again, when you're shooting other tanks, you're doing less damage to it. So where you want to hit? In the bottom. A round will get lodged in here. So if you smack this down here at the bottom, this guy can't turn his turret. Therefore, in order to shoot you, 
he has to turn his whole tank around in order to get an eye on you. Okay? So, even if you're straight on with somebody, hitting him in the gun's good, bottom of the turret, okay, and the track is good, okay, you're looking for soft spots. That's if you're pointing f towards him. Rarely will you be able to hit down here and really do much damage. Now, if you want to look at the side of the tank, very vulnerable here. Now, I'm going to show you a different tank where it's not so vulnerable. Okay, it's got this big old iron plate on the side that is one helping protect the track, so it's harder to uh, detrack them. You have to hit them right on this back sprocket or way at the very bottom in order to detrack them. Okay, so it protects the track, and if you look at it, it actually protects the side of the tank as well. So you're not just getting shots that are going through; it's an extra penetration. If you look at the front, it is sloped. Okay, they have these little Spikes on the front here to help detour rounds from getting through. This is a heavy tank. Okay, it's blocked off. It's thick steel. But in the back, what's that back here? It's a gas tank. Okay, this is a fuel injection system that goes in. You hit this, they're going to catch fire. Period. So when it comes to heavy tanks, you want to smack these boys from the back. Okay. Now, going into a tank like this, if you see one of these down in a valley and you're up on a hill, where do you want to aim? Right here. It's wide open. You pop a shell in here, not only will it damage the turret, damage the gun, but it will kill the guys on the inside. The other thing, if you look on the back, because it is a much bigger tank and a whole lot more metal, it takes more fuel couple of fuel tanks in the back. There's an ammo rack back here and a big fuel tank. You hit either one of these from the back side. Notice there's no fuel tank back here. You hit one of these from the back side, you're going to do a lot of damage. Literally, on the T28 prototype and most um, TD tanks, tank destroyers, you hit them from the back, you can one-shot them. But usually, they're so far back, shooting from long range like a sniper, it's very hard to get them from the back unless you're able to sneak around. Okay? If you look at the side, no protection. Okay? You're going to be able to shoot right through this side beam right here, which will kill the guys on the inside. You can track them easy. But again, these guys are not made for upfront contact. Okay? These guys are made for being in the very, very back, being a sniper. A tank like this is uh, I'm going to come and get in your face and shoot you in the face with a bazooka. Okay? They're going to be up front, banging up against you type of tank. They can do that. They have the armor in order to do it. Look at all the different angles that you see on this tank. A lot of different angles. Okay? Now, this is one of the lower ones. When you get up in the higher ones, you'll see there's a, a big difference. Actually, if I go to here, let's go into research. See if you can see some of the tanks when you get into research. Now, like this one here, this tank you can see is actually very low profile, rounded front, angled sides, okay? And he is half the profile of my other tank, this one here. So what that's going to get you is lower profile means very, very hard to hit. Uh, this one here, see how big that is? Now look at this one much lower profile the target isn't so big very hard to really catch them you know in any sweet small point but the only problem is with this one here it is a tiny tank it doesn't have a whole lot of metal in it um if i remember correctly t67 actually had what would be considered now like a corvette engine in it uh it was a, a very uh big motor with a decent cannon on it but it was made for lightweight because it was considered to be a very, very fast tank. It's got huge maneuverabilities. Um, but you shoot it once or twice and boom, this baby's going to go down. Then you have tanks like this. They're big, they're bulky. Notice that the top of the track is, uh, is covered by this metal. Okay, a little bit harder to track, though they, you can usually still track them pretty well. But it is a little bit harder. Notice at the top end, very rounded. It's got the big muzzle grill on the front end to protect the driver. Um, it's got the top guard, catch guard. 
Um, it does have some angles on it. It does deflect very well. Uh, back end, again, is a sweet spot for these, but you do notice it has a little more protection. The back of the track is rounded. It protects this back gear. Um, so this one here could take a, a decent beating. Um, I'll be honest with you, not as well as this one in the front end. This one here could take, uh, will deflect a lot of rounds. Um, this one here, a little bit less. But this one here is also a little lighter weight because it's faster. It's just faster than the uh, the other prototype. Um, then you get into tanks like this. Now this is a LTP, this is Elite Light Tank. Uh, look at the track on that thing alone, how it kind of sways down. It's very loose because this thing is like a spring. Faster it goes, the more this thing will coil and spread out, okay? Because these little buggers can fly. That's what they're made for. You're not going to get a lot of kills running in a light tank. Um, here's why. Very little armor, very fast motor, very tiny gun, made very lightweight. The job of this tank is to zip around the map and highlight whatever tanks they can see. So as you're driving around, for actually very quickly, which is harder for some of the bigger tanks to turn their turrets to come and shoot you. This little tank right here, if you run around and you click on enemy tanks and you hit T and you just drive by them, then you're going to allow other vehicles like this one here. No, no back, not much armor really at all, uh, but this is an artillery. This is an artillery tank. It sits in the corner and it hides. It opens up a map like a down view and you can see all the different tanks that are in the area. Now the only way you're going to see them is if a little light tank like this one zips around and highlights them on a map. On each one of the tanks if you go through, let's just take this one here for instance, I go into research. You got different guns, you got different turrets you can make for uh, more armor, but if you'll notice, they got different size engines, which give you different speeds. This is a 4GAF, and this is the M2A1, which is a much better and faster uh, motor, but unfortunately, this tank's so heavy, it, it still doesn't make much of a difference. But the big thing is, is the SCR radio. Okay, if you'll notice, on this one here, the signal range is 395 meters. This one here is 745 meters. Now there's a weight to everything on the truck. So what you do is when you're taking a look at some of these smaller tanks, like this one here, and you go through and you want to get uh, some good range, you want to take a look at the radio. This one here is a 360 mile range. And what this does is it piggybacks. As one tank is up front, it will signal to this tank which will show its radius that can show to this tank which can show its radius now you may be able to see and as you play you'll notice that you can see on a map that there's a tank somewhere because you see the red dot but you can't visually see the red dot on the map you're too far from the main tank so you'll see good tanks at um, uh, light tanks they'll have a really big radio thousand meter range 1500 meter range which will allow you to see certain tanks up front. Now, if this tank can see it, and this tank can actually see the target, and you get close enough to this tank, you don't have to be on this tank to see that target. You can sit back a little bit further and still pick that one up and snipe them from the back. That's if you're playing a tank destroyer. Um, if you're playing a, a heavy, and I like to say this, and I can't say this enough, if you're playing a heavy tank, do not sit in the back of the map waiting for stuff to happen and to see if you might be able to snipe somebody. Your job is like playing in an MMO. You're a tank. Okay, you're a heavy. You've got all the armor. Your job is to be up front in the action, blowing stuff up, ramming other tanks, whatever you got to do. You're the front line. When other skilled players see heavies come up front and they're not in the heavy, they're not going to come pop up front. They're going to try to work angles, corners, and jump in and out. So as the heavies come up front, it will hold others back. But also gives us TD players the opportunity to get into a good position to catch angles as a tank comes up. 
Now, if you've got an angle where there's a, a, a cliff or a wall that's here, and a tank can peek out, and your heavy tank is up in the front, keeping him from coming on that corner, when he backs up, if you're in a tank destroyer, you can sit further back, and as soon as he peeks out, you can get pop shots. And I'm telling you, if you're running around with a T28 prototype, or, or you're in one of the English TDs, or even one of the uh, German TDs, this gun, okay, will take out everybody and his mother around it. Um, it can go through it, penetrate a lot of armor, especially if you're using gold rounds. You just, you'll just murder everybody. So I just kind of want to go through some of the tanks here, real quick, for some people who haven't played and might be interested. Um, let's see here. So this one here is a, again another light tank. Um, this one here again is a heavy tank. This one here is a light tank. I think I have a medium or had a medium in here somewhere. Actually, I'll just go in here and we can purchase a vehicle. So when you go through and you're looking for tanks, you actually have uh, your heavy tanks. So you can pick, I want to look at all types. Um, I want to look at all nations. Or you can say, look, I want to look at a German line. Look at all tanks. So there's your lights. Okay, scroll down. Then you can get into your medium tanks. Okay, medium tank, again, is like a rogue, okay, uh, or, or a support uh, melee DPS, if you play MMOs. It's not made to be up there in the front, banging on everybody, uh, kind of like a heavy is, but it should be right on the heavy's butt. It should be right on the back side of that heavy. So that heavy pulls back after shooting his round, you can slide forward, pop, 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 pull back, let the big one go, boom. You pull up, boom. They pull back, boom. And you're going back and forth. And I'm going to try to get into some of that in actual gameplay today. And then, again, you got your heavy tanks. Uh, then you get into your tank destroyers. You can see there's so many of them on here, guys. Um, and you can pick from a very wide range. And then here uh, you have your your use. And these guys are, some of these guys are really nasty. Um, uh, these are your artillery guys right here. Sorry about that. Had a little brain fart. But anyways, these are your utility guys. Uh, artillery. Uh, they'll shoot from wide range. So what I'm going to do first is close out of this. Um, I'm going to go into let's see a T28. I'm going to play around real quick. So guys, if any of you guys have any questions or anything, or you just want to say hello, welcome to Grievance Channel. Uh, I am Deacon. Um, I play a little Arc Age. I play World of Warcraft. I uh, play Tanks, uh, StarCraft II, pretty much everything. I like to dabble in a bunch of stuff. Um, but I've been playing this game for about five years now. Um, and I really enjoy playing it. Um, it's, it's a really fast self-gratification type of game. Um, you can see how easy it was. You clicked your ready in your tank, boom, you're in the game. Uh, it's very, very fast. And I'm actually going to move this over here. So if anybody has any questions, I can actually see them easier than looking behind me. I've got three laptops over here. Bottom of the line, that means I'm going to go up. Yeah, E100s. There's a lot of 10s. This map, not one of my favorites, but I know where I want to go. Now, see these two tanks right here? Those are T30s. Those are the ones that are right after the T28 prototype. Uh, that was that big bulky one I was showing you. Now, if you look, well, these guys right here, see these two tanks right here? And you notice they've got three markers on their head. Okay? Uh, consider them to be like chevrons. Three markers means it's a heavy. This little guy right here, that is a light tank. He's got a diamond on his head. God, we got a lot of heavies on this one. Those two guys over here with the two marks, those guys right there are medium tanks. That's how you can tell the designation of each one of these tanks so you know what you're dealing with. Um, the square guy back here, that's a square. That's artillery. We got two of those. And then that guy right there with the upside down triangle, that's a TD. That's what I'm playing right now. And there's another medium behind him. 
So those guys are going to have a very bad day if they if it gets pretty heavy over there. So. Looks like everybody decided to go to the right, and these people are dying already. Now, my last cast was Stupid Tuesday, and today is Friday, and I can't use foul language, so we'll find another. It's Fudge Friday. And some of these guys are just fudged up. Now, if I'm trying to be smart, See how all those guys are being taken out right there? Uh, wait a minute. I'm going to see if I can't pull a funny on them. They're getting real heavy because, see, that's a, that's a light tank. And if I can get over here, I might be able to catch these guys without them knowing I'm right here against this wall. And help this little guy right here because they're going to come out and try to chew on him. Oh. All right, I may have a guy up behind me. See if I can catch him. If this guy doesn't get up behind me, I'm going to be in trouble. Now he has no idea I'm here. Unless that other guy has popped him up. He's backing up. He doesn't want anybody to see him. He's trying to get cover. I don't know who he's shooting out here. But hi! Oh man, see that guy's got a lot of a lot of meat on him. Now I'm in trouble because this other guy's coming up behind me here. But I'm gonna see if I can't tag him from a distance. Cause I'm gonna get a side shot. We didn't penetrate what? And see that's yeah, another guy with a lot of armor on him. That's nah, just nuts. And this guy's gonna give me from behind. Yep, I'm sandwiched. I'm toast. Let's see if I can get this guy in the track. Yep. I've got to back up here. Uh, six. Yep. Well, so you see, there's a guy in the water right there. Didn't do his job. There's about three guys over on that island side and see this guy I don't know if you can see the little mini map down here at the bottom he's just up there all by himself playing tiddlywinks but it looks like our big force up at the north let's click over to where these guys are artillery should be taking these guys out let's get out of here there's his medium guy he's just sitting here nope he's got some guy in front of him a little chick he needs cut down at the bottom He's trying, but it ain't gonna work. Let's see who else we got. Here's all these heavies over here. See, this boy's got a eyeball for this. So if you notice, he's using the rock for cover. He's using his turret to angle. So therefore, this is the profile the guy sees. He's got very little to actually shoot at if he does turn to shoot at him. Okay, we'll back up. This guy just killed somebody. So it looks like a couple of them has fallen back to get back towards the flag. Oh, these guys are taken out. Stop. Yep. Now, if you look, he's going to back, wait for a reload, come back forward when he can shoot again, aim. Nope. He dropped off the track. But if you look, these guys are trying to maneuver around this dead tank. That's just stupid. Just stay behind the heavy. This, this is what I talk about people being fudged, man. You're behind a heavy who's at 20%. I would stay behind him, let them kill him, and then use him as a shield to keep them from killing me. But he thinks he's got... Oh, he just got killed by the guy back here. Well, I think that's going to be pretty much it for this fight. They got two guys left, and we've got five or six. So Now, look at how low profile this guy is. 
So he doesn't stick up as high as some of the other tanks. The top is all rounded. Very sleek. His tracks are open on the side. I don't like that. But you can see the hits he's actually taken on the tank. You see the bullet rounds that have hit his tank. But it's much lower profile. It's a good tank. And then you got this guy who looks like a big box with tracks on it. He's got a pretty big gun though, and it's a heavy man. He can just, it's all metal. He can just take a beating. And right now, let's see if I can get up to him. It's not going to let me select him. I had him back. There we go. So he's got that medium guy. They're still out here playing footsies with each other. See? Boom. Ricochet. Didn't do any damage to him. What he doesn't see is the medium coming up from behind him. And he got him from behind. See that? Six. He went from 100 to 6 damage. It's because he shot him from behind. Most tanks have no... Nothing from behind. So fortunate for me that was a win. Hey there, Grievance. Just playing little tanks. Not sure how smooth it is. I'm trying to make some adjustments on here so it runs a little bit smoother than it has before. Just kind of going through talking about some tanks here. Uh, let's see. Let's try the Hellcat. I love the Hellcat. It's just a fun tank. Kind of do high ball tank. Do a little power playing. I'm uh, down almost a whole two liter bottle of soda today. Erlenberg. All right, this is kind of a really way open map. Uh, in the center, you got some houses you can play around, and a river splits the land in two. And then you have a big castle on one side and just a bunch of hills on the other. So I'm going to first wait and find out who's going what direction and what side I'm placed on before I go anywhere. But this tank packs a wallop. And we got some arties, some mediums, and a heavy. Most of the heavies are on that side. So if most of the heavies are on that side. They're going to try to conquer that hill. And these guys, I guess, are going to try to do some long shooting on the side. So I'm going to go right up the middle. I would not do this if I was in my prototype. It's just too slow. But I can get away with it in this tank because it's fast enough to reach up and get to a point that you want to get to. And then I cut right through the ground. And what I'm trying to do is get to the point where I can sit right up here. Stop. See how the guy, how quick he is? He's up there trying to show where people are. What I want to do is I get an angle right on this corner. So he already got one guy. And here comes a heavy. And he's going to try to climb this hill. And I'm not going to... Oh, somebody went through a tree. I'm waiting for him to come up the top. See if any of them want to come up the top. Come on, come on, get happy. Let's blow up some tanks today. All right, somebody's moving up on that ridge, and he's going on the outside. No way, he's not going on the outside. Oh, he is. Yes, he is. So we got a lot of action over here. This one little guy over here, man, Red, he's outgunned, obviously. Uh, run, Forrest, run. Ah, he saw me. Oh, he's just a little lighty. Keep running. Oh, 220. 
there's another boy right over here somewhere. There he is. He's going to try to get me here. I'm going to back up behind it. Oh. Dang. He whooped me. The KV-4. And that's the problem, man. When you get up on a hill, like I said, when you're up on that hill and you can see the top of my tank is open. And look where the fire's at. He got a great shot. So he tracked me and he got me right in the top of that sucker. So you really got to watch. Look at the back of my tank. That's kind of funny too. It popped the back plate off. That's what I like about this game too. Tracked, busted. So when you do damage to a tank, you can see it. I mean, there's a hole right there in the top. Top is all busted, was on fire, busted out the back end of the motor. That boy just blew right through me horribly. All right, let's jump out of this. Go get into the tank. I really kind of work and want to work on my arty today. Um, that's artillery. Um, the one I have is really a pea shooter. It really doesn't do much, and I'm trying to get to the next level. So I have three thousand for research, which I already have everything I need. I think I just need to get the next gun. So I got all of them. I can just do there's a big radio. But really I need to get twelve thousand five seventy. I can convert five thousand. So if I wanted to get this, how many more do I need? Guy that purchased money, I just need 3385 So, let's do some battle on this one. 3000 is not much. That's a couple of wins we can get at. Kind of give you an idea of what it's like to play an arty. So how's everybody doing? Um, I grab my uh, mouse for this one. I keep switching around. I'm kind of working at the same time, so excuse me if I'm uh, move my head around too much. Off cam. Alright, so, arty. That means I want high ground, and I want to hide. I do not want to be anywhere where anybody can come and kill me with a bazooka. So I'm going to climb up this hill. And hide behind rocks. This bush should be good. Now, see how the other guys are lighting them up on my map down here at the bottom. And I don't remember if I can make the map bigger or not. All right, so what you want to do is hit shift. Now I got angles, and that's not going to be a good one. I got to come out here a little bit more. There we go. Shift, boom. Now, what I want to do is move down on the map. I'm going to help these guys over here a little bit more first. So now he knows I'm here and he's going to want to move. Because if he doesn't, I will shoot him in the face with my bazooka. Now you notice he's behind a rock. It makes it hard for me to drop bombs on him. This guy's sticking out a little bit more. What I'm going to do is wait for him to roll up and nail him. When he comes up. 
Oh, this guy's out here in the middle of nowhere. Run, Forrest, run. Boom! Hit him. Ah, oh, he moved. Yeah, see, he knows I'm out here looking for him. I need to see him. Man, we've lost a lot of guys already. We are in trouble. This is not going to be good at all. See this guy's back here again. Now he's gone. Oh man. It's like, yeah, I know you're here. I'm gonna shoot you. Get behind that rock. Oh you POS. Oh wait, you got another guy right here. He's running. He's running. He's running. Stop. Well, this guy's wrecking up everybody, man. Right, let's see if I can zero this in a little bit. Move it slow. We're trying, bud. Keep in there 5%. I'm going to let him try to roll forward if he can. Well, this guy's going to keep rolling backwards. Darn it. Alright, let's come over here and help him then. I'll see how far back he's hidden. That's just not right. Oh, he's gone. Anybody else over here? We're not doing too shabby here. All right, now I'm going to have to get out of this. Because these guys are going to start coming up this way. Now, these are arties. We're made to shoot long distance. We're not made to shoot shortcut like that. He's waiting for him to come up that row. See, now here comes this guy. going the right way. Alright, so I'm going to turn around. Find out which way this guy's going. He's coming towards me. So this is going to be fun. Not much I can do. Uh, I know. I, I I know I'd be really good at Arties. I just need to get... I've been really good at Arties. I just need to get the points back up so I can get a better Artie. Because that right there is like a pea shooter. That thing doesn't want to do any damage to anybody. I mean, it's like shooting you know, somebody with a rubber band... And they're wearing like a football uniform. It, it's like really stupid. Um, every once in a while you get a little bit of damage. But Arties are fun when you get to the bigger ones. The bigger ones, man. Tell you what, one hit or even or even just shoot next to them. And you're going to get some damage out of it. That's why it's important if you're up front and you know you're seen, do not stand in one spot. Do not, you know, you always want to stay behind rocks. It makes them harder for you to get. But then again, the higher the uh, level arties, actually, like the lower ones, shoot an arc kind of like this. So it's easy to sit behind a rock and have, you know what I mean? You can't shoot them. The, some of the better ones have a higher arc, so they can kind of get up. And if you're behind this rock, they get up so high and they'll come right down behind that rock. It stinks because you really can't hide anywhere from anybody that way.
So, this one here, I'm going to probably get up a little bit closer on everything. I'm just going to come sit over here for a bit. If people get too close, I'll just have to run! Forest run! The other thing, too, is you can't sit behind rocks and stuff with this guy, because then you can't shoot over him, just because you don't have the angles. So, shift, and wait for somebody to find somebody. Every once in a while, I'll actually drop around in here because you always get that one guy that's AFK. See like we've got an arty that's sitting back here. So sometimes I'll just try to shoot behind buildings. I'm just fishing right now. I'm just kind of shooting some spots that a lot of arties like to sit at. Now we got a, a target to look at. Oh, we got a few targets to look at. He's stopping. So he's giving me the opportunity. Boom! Thank you. Oh! Oh! That's got to hurt. And he's like, where do I go? I'm running. I'm running, George. Oh, he's going to try to fight it out. Poor sap. We didn't even scratch them. Oh, I didn't even scratch him. That's horrible. Oh, we got another guy back here. And he's within reach. Now, see that reticle? You got to wait till it gets down. He gets his... Ah, man, lost him. Let's see if I can get this guy here. I think he's behind... Oh, there's a couple of them back here. We're just going to range it. Okay, so let the reticle come down. He's just sitting here like a panty cake. Boom. Tighter your circle. Usually the uh, more accurate you are. What? It's not even where I dropped the round. Alright. He has really nowhere to go. I'll drop it. Oh, there he is. Ah, I got him. Oh, here's a... He's going to back up thinking, hey, no one's going to shoot me back here. I'll just back it up. See, so just move your mouse slowly. See, there's another... Ah, uh, move too much. Just back it up. Man, they're just camping their, uh, their base here. Oh, got a hit. Oh, somebody uh, got happy. All right, we got a heavy going against a medium, so we need to give the medium some help here. Thirteen percent. Boom. Critical hit. Critical hit. So I must have killed somebody in there. We're gonna do it again. Give me some damage. Come on, you pea shooter. Let's get some damage. Boom! Get out the way! Get out the way! And now there's the arty. See where he is? That's where I was shooting, wasn't it? That's right where I was shooting, is this area. He was back there hiding. There's a kill. Thank you. Thank you. It's like David and Goliath. I'm shooting pea shooters.
little slingshot action to the big giant. Uh, oh, that overview. Just hit shift. Steal. Uh, if you're playing the Artie, man, you, you, you're completely playing it wrong. If, if you're, you're just running around trying to shoot people with it. So what you do is when we get in the game, I'll, I'll show you and explain it to you. All right, so when you're playing an arty, uh, especially in a map like this, you want to stay in the far back of the map that you can away from everybody else. You want to try to get whatever cover that you can get. Um, you don't want to be behind big buildings or anything, but you do want to try to catch some cover, make it a little difficult for people to see you. So, like, for me, what I'll do would be a good, good little trick. Makes it a whole lot harder for people to see you. Is I'm gonna drive down this way, bust through the gate, and come back up. Let's go. So I want to conceal my location the best I can, because you're gonna have a little guy who's gonna want to come over here and find out where I'm at. So I'm gonna come over here and we'll bust through this fence. And I got trees next to me and the whole bit. So, now, I'm a whole lot harder to see. Now, all you gotta do, Steel, just hit the shift button, the left shift button. Boom. Now you got an oversight of the whole map. Poor guy's just gonna get chewed on right now. Critical hit. Got a hit, so somebody died in that tank. Usually, critical hit means you maybe you didn't do damage to the tank, but you hit somebody critical inside the tank. Damage. There's 107 damage. Let's do it again. Boom. 113. Just keep staying there. Sit right there. I'm red, red, red. As soon as it goes. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> so somebody got him. So I was behind the fence, but once you get close enough, he spotted me. I don't know what the heck he was driving, though. M5 Stewart. Oh, well. Well, it looks like we lost this one anyways. And looks this guy on my left-hand screen. You can see the guy says minus one tank. It means he shot and killed his own player. Let's go back to the garage. So yeah, steel. Um, when you get it, in, get into a good spot, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Just uh, hit shift, and you'll be able to do a top view. I'm gonna grab this phone call real quick.
Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm back. When the wife calls, you answer the phone. Otherwise, she don't cook your meals, she doesn't wash the dishes, and she doesn't give you any other special attention, which I'm very fond of. Alright, so I'm back on my uh, TD because the other one's still kind of uh, in a battle. Um, that's a good thing if you want to rotate through these things pretty quickly, you can. Um, what I'm going to do though is these guys are all running down this uh, back alley. And I am going to cover the flag. It's going to be my job because everybody else is running all over the place. So, what I like to do is watch what this little guy is doing right here. He's down low. He's trying to sneak around. Oh, man. And I'm stuck. Alright, so he's going to try to make a run up here to the top flag. So either one of these guys is going to turn around, or I'm going to catch him on the up. Because he has no idea I'm way back here in the back. And that's the reason why I stay back by the flag, because a lot of these guys like to make these quick runs over here. See, there he is. Oops, somebody's on him. But if I get up here before they down him, I'm going to get him. Oh, they got him. Darn it. Right before I was going to pull the trigger. Oh, yeah. That's it. Shoot me, you arty. So now you want to run so the arties don't shoot you anymore. And they've got a big arty, so... But I wonder if I can hit that guy way back there. No. Alright, so my right line is still looking pretty strong. My left line's pretty strong. My center's doing pretty well. We've only lost two guys. And I know it seems kind of boring sometimes playing the TD, because sometimes you don't get any action. You don't really get to see anything. But really, this is... It's a team sport. I mean, really. And if you don't treat it that way or play it that way, you'll lose. And there's a lot of people that just want to jump up there and see how many kills they can get. Like, almost like playing an MMO. How, you know, what's my DPS? What are my numbers? Instead of actually watching the functionality of the actual game. If you got smart players that are covering other people's backs, they know how to, what I call, dive. So that means when a, one tank pulls out, the other one can pull in to shoot. Especially around corners. Wow, these guys are playing tiddlywinks up here. Alright, see this other TD back here with me? Alright, we got enough of them killed. I'm going to move forward down this right line. So you got some heavies on the back end. Yep. You know what? Let's go through town. It'll be a little more scenic, you know. Maybe we can stop, find a little old Italian lady who, you know, make me some dinner or something. Maybe I can catch somebody coming down out of this mountain. Which is always fun. No, those guys are toast. You got three heavies against a medium, and then you got all these other guys who are... Look like they're trying to just defend their flag against three TDs and two heavies. It's not going to work out well for them. Have you noticed the other tank destroyers moved up like me? We're going to close off the middle, so we don't have to worry about anybody trying to squeak by. Up, oh, one tank left. This is over. Again, another round gets kind of boring. But like on one of these tanks, you don't want to shoot them up front. You want to get behind them. Your gas tank, everything's right there. You can literally one-shot one of these tanks from behind. But up front, you're not going to do much damage to them. Alright, I'm going to go back on my RDE. Get a little more 
work on him. He's got four. It's 9,000 I can convert. I need 12, so I need about two more thousand. In an arty, a kill will usually get you about 500. So when you get up in the higher levels, you get some good arties on a map where guys are always stuck, stopping in one place. You can get a ton of kills. I watched one arty get eight kills in one game. Just sitting in the corner, twiddling his thumbs. Now the Artie's low level, so finding games may take a little bit longer than if I'm playing the upper level tanks. I believe he's level four. I'm really trying to get to a level six. Oh, this looks like the Alps. We're in the hidden village. Standard battle. Capture the enemy base or destroy all enemies. <laughs> Fun map. Except not a hide over here. So I'm just going to sit pretty much behind this house. Go pew pew. Now I know, so I can go shift, let's go all the way to there, and just go, boom, random shots, boom, Because there's always somebody AFK at the start of a game. You never know when you might be able to tag them. And any second now, we're going to see a tank or two. Alright. So... Who wants to come out in play? Blotty play, blotty play. Who wants to taste the gun of death? Death and destruction. Oh, look at this poor little guy. I'm hiding behind a tree. can come right up to this point. Alright, let me try to zoom in here. There's a car right there. I'm just going to shoot a car. I miss the car. Alright, let's come over here. Who's out in the open? Anybody? Anybody that can shoot? See, he needs to back up all the way to here before I can shoot him. Or not. Yep. So I need to come up to here. Yep. See, I'll make him back up. He's all crap. Somebody trying to shoot me with a pea shooter. Man, this thing's horrible. Oh, come on, I should have shot him. Should have got something out of that. Oh, these guys are all over him over here. Ouch, and I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. They're going to come kill me. 
So, time to leave. This guy's going to come around this corner and he's going to try to shoot me. Nope, he's going to get this guy who's AFK right now. I'm dead. These guys are just going to come kill me, so... See? Everyone get out. We completely lost the right line. That's a bad thing about playing Artie, man. Once one of your lines gets wiped out and they move through, you're dead. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can do. If, unless you can get a, behind a rock and they can't see where you're at, and when they come around the corner, you pop them one. I mean, that works out well, but other than that, it's, it's rough. All right, I'm going to show you this one here. This little sucker's fast, and, the, and and I like playing it, but I don't play it much because it's so fast. You kind of get addicted to the speed, and you wind up just hauling butt all over the map, and you get yourself killed. But it's so fun to be able to fly. This thing literally, you can take it off bumps, and it catches air. To see a tank catch air is just, it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. Guy's name is Spam Sandwich. Hello, I am Spam Sandwich. Playing with another guy, another guy named Steel Panther. That sounds like that. Uh, oh, what was that? Um, Ron, not Ron Jeremy. Um, Ron Burgundy. Anchorman, with that uh, that stuff he was wearing, that that Panther cologne. Steel Panther. What, all, what makes all the ladies throw up? Alright, so... Cool map. Kind of a different map. Um, I'm not going to go to the top on this one. See, like this guy here. He's making a run across the map. And then you got tanks that are just sitting up here. And they're just easy PV. One, two, three. Enemy armor is damaged. You're damaged. You're damaged. You're damaged. Holy crud. There's a guy coming right up the front here. So I gotta turn my butt around. Get an angle. I'm gonna see if I can go give him a hand over here. Come my way, buddy. Come my way. Come my way. Come my way. Come my way. Oh, he's on the other side of that hill. Enemy armor is damaged. Yeah, keep trying to shoot. That's why I like about this thing. He's quick. You're down, boy! Get out the way! See, those arties are just all over me right now. But I can sit right in here. And they're gonna sit there and hide. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, that's a tiger. Oh! Peace off!
that stinks. That's fun though, man. That little thing right there, that little tank. He can't take a ton of damage, but man, he can fly. All right, let's back up out of here. Man, only got one kill that battle. Boy, this thing is choppy, isn't it, Steel? I should probably not spin my mouse around like that too much. I gotta figure out what's wrong. I've never been this choppy before. It's just happened like these last couple weeks. Alright, let's see if I can get on my arty. How many points do I need to the next one? 2,000. Let's battle up. Battle up. Oh, you know what? I didn't check. Bet you that's it. When I redid this thing, it kept giving me France as my server that I'm running off of. So I bet you all the people in France are probably going, hey, this is a pretty smooth feed. And everybody in the U.S. is going, why in the hell are you in France? I have to check that again and reset it back to Dallas only. Because I'm in Oklahoma City, boy. Okay, here's another one that could be a real pain. Because that mountainside. So. Let me get back here by this burnt house. Let's get this show on the road. Anybody watching tell me how bad this thing is on you for you? See, I gotta just do what I do. Shift. Beep, beep. Whoa, we got somebody on the center already. This is very nice. All right, let's give support. Let's see if we can't shoot some people. Gotta shoot the people. Somebody got tracked. Where's all the people? Oh, wait, can I shoot? I just cannot shoot that. And, oh, I might be able to shoot here, though. Come on, show them to me. I can't shoot him, bad angle. So, let's get back over here. Kill him! Kill him now! They killed our driver. We're covering his... Oh man! Everyone get out. See, when you lose one side, you're toast. Not a whole lot you can do about it.
problem is on this one line man you guys gotta be able to see my map better I think you're supposed to be a way I'm making bigger I forgot I got rid of it all together anyways um, when you're coming down this line that's down over here on my mini map if you guys can see it it's uh, 1A all the way down um, too many people stand so far back that allows the guys to get up the hill if you rush the hill and stay up at the top you can actually keep them from coming up and I'm losing cash quickly I'm gonna have to get in here and play some of the lower tiers so I can get my cash back up I think at one point I was saying about 1.4 million and now now 900,000 you gotta get experience points to learn a tank or learn a gun and then once you learn how to make that gun or engine or whatever, then you got to buy it so you can install it on there. So there's two aspects to purchasing something in this game. Let's go. And they're not all peachy keen either. And this game is horrible for arties. Absolutely horrendous. Because everything is buildings. Buildings, buildings, buildings. Shooting around stuff is just a pain. So I usually, actually I probably could go all the way down that way and try to shoot, but let's just, let's just hang out here, see what happens. And we're pointing the right way. We're going to take a top view. We'll come down here. And we'll try to shoot corners. Because I can't get through these buildings anyways. Oh wait, and boom. See, I can get there. I can get right there. Boom! Oh, he moved up. Too many buildings in my way. I just cannot get an angle on any of them. Let's see if I can angle this stuff here. Is this guy moving? Yep, he's moving. He's not, though, because he's a dummy. He got tracked. There's another one here. Zoom in, he's on fire and he's dead! He's dead! They killed it him! Alright, now we're back over in this area. The guy's still sitting off these corners. That was not me doing that damage. I'm trying to shoot right off this corner and get this guy to back off of it. Well, I got him to back off of it, but now he's chasing this guy down. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there's some guys out. Oh, this guy's just sitting here. Can I get him? I can get him. He just sits there. Long enough. get the kill but it's fascinating enough man come on give me something to shoot that's not behind a wall 
Ooh, he's only 10%. If I can just zero in. Of course not. There's the arty. Oh, uh, and I shot short, and he just ran into him. Well, I didn't shoot anybody. Uh, I didn't die. And we won. So, let's see how many points I got. Ten? A hundred and sixty-one. I'll take it. I will take it. Man, why is this lagging so bad? Um, actually, I need to look on the forums, because I believe I was supposed to run, yep, I'm running until 3 o'clock, so I got about 10 more minutes, and then I'll give you guys a break, and then I'll go in here and fiddle with this and find out why it's so laggy, so if we only got 10 more minutes, I'm going to play something I want, and I want to play Big Bertha. Big Bertha Clay the Smackdown. By the way, I was watching, uh, coming up here at 4 o'clock is um, Tezuko. I was watching him play Hearthstone uh, last night. Very good show. Um, was entertaining watching him play. I played it a little bit. Uh, my son, who goes to OU, uh, Oklahoma University, uh, he's got a whole group of guys up there that play it. Um, I would not want to play him or his stuff. But it is very interesting uh, watching them play or watching them play last night. You learn a lot uh, about the different cards and different things they do and whatnot. It was, uh, again, it was entertaining. I really liked it. So make sure you guys catch him uh, coming up at 4 o'clock. And then later on we got uh, Echelon's uh, Final Fantasy uh, Random Pug Group. I guess that's what he's going to be running. Um, that starts at 7. If I can get my mouse to work. Let's go. Scroll down a bit. Wow, then 8 o'clock we got Chilled Rifts, uh, Leveling uh, Rogue, 60 to 65. Uh, let's see, then we got uh, Final Fantasy Newscast tonight at 9 o'clock all the way to 11. And then at 11 o'clock, my favorite lady, Dark Raven, will uh, be streaming some Final Fantasy. So make sure you guys come on tonight, check it out. They always have uh, some great information, cool things, great people. Uh, you really need to come on and, uh, and hang out with them. Uh, they usually get quite a few view viewers and sometimes even give away some free stuff. So I'm not sure if they will tonight. Nobody ever tells me anything. I'm just deacon. I'm just here to pass a little time. All right, this map here is uh, the one I played a little bit earlier, but I had the faster tank, so I moved all the way up in the front. Um, this time I am not doing that. Because this thing is too slow. They will catch me coming across the field. Um, but this one here is one where there's a flag in the middle. So we need to get into a range where we can actually see it. And they are hiding on that far curve again. These guys are not very nice. Okay, there's a tank. I think he's moving up. Yep, they're moving up along the top. Right, well, they're blocked by the wall. We, I gotta get help these guys get in here. And get at these guys. But I'm gonna watch my back while I do it. Dang it. Way too soon. Oh, there's another tank over here. Way up at the top. Just hanging out. Boom! Critical hit. I tracked him. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, he repaired. Okay, I got enough guys on my right to keep them busy. I'm going to try to get up here towards the circle where the flag is. Let's uh, throw a little help to some of these guys over here. Got to watch my right side so I'm not left out in the naked cold. 
Oh, we're just lighting some uh, some guys up over here. Now there's somebody else over here. There he is. Let's see if I can creep up on him. Since they're keeping them busy over on this side. Creepity creep. That's right. I got your number, baby. And you're scared to death of my big Bertha. And I'm going to tag you right on the back side. I don't care. Let him hit me. Look at all those shots coming in on him. Kill me. I'm good. I'll be satisfied with my uh, performance. We're dead for it. Everyone get out. That's fine. Well, I think that'll be it done on this run it's been fun I'm gonna try to get this thing cleared up I gotta find out why I'm so laggy when I'm streaming so I apologize but uh, if you guys learn anything watching or playing World of Tanks I want to invite you to come if you're with Grievance every night probably around 7 o'clock we got a great group of guys there's uh, about five or six of us we bunch up in teams we play together we have a lot of fun. Uh, it's a kind of a mature channel. Uh, most of us are just old fogies. We're about 35 to maybe 50. Um, unless there's some younger guys. I don't know. I never really asked them their age, but they all talk like I do and you kind of know the stuff that I do. So I figured, you know, I'm 45, so they got to be around my age. Um, great group of guys, though. We like to have fun. Of course, you know, family fun channel. You know, if you want to jump in, have some fun. If you want to learn about World of Tanks, we're more than happy to jump on our lower level tanks and kind of help you along and teach you. Um, if you want to get some one-on-one -on -one training uh, to play because this interests you, you know, uh, let me know. Uh, give me a message on here. Uh, send me a message um, on the channel uh, Grievance. It's just Deacons with a Z on the end. Um, I'd be more than happy to jump on to give anybody kind of instruction or anything on how to play the game and kind of get up there pretty quick. Um, anyways, other than that, I had a great time. Hope you guys did too. And we will see you.